And the Dobrynik channel is back and today we're going to be doing a Lake Mead update. Lake Mead is continuing to come up slowly and we will be talking about that. We'll be talking about the weather that's potentially going to impact the Colorado River Basin, the upper Colorado River Basin as well, and the lower Colorado River Basin also. And we are going to be talking about the snow potential in the Colorados coming up and We'll have Lake Powell, Lake Mead, Flaming Gorge, and Lake Havasu as well. So if you enjoy this content and you want to at the end of the video, you think it's worthy of a like and a subscribe, please consider doing that. If not, no worries. If you joined me earlier on my live stream, much appreciated. That live stream is only available for a couple hours, so if you're not able to catch it, I apologize for that. But I'll be doing that every Saturday for those of you who are interested in catching that. And that starts at noon central, so if you are on the east coast at 1 o'clock, if you're on the west coast, it'd be 10 o'clock, I believe. So there you have that. Without further ado, we're going to roll right over to windy.com, and we're going to go to rain accumulation. And you can see that everything is fairly dry here, but there is some hope coming down the pike as i was just talking about earlier in the next 10 days steamboat springs supposed to get about 0.47 inches of rain accumulation which is all snow i am almost sure 4.4 fell 4 inches aspen 2 inches so you can see that there's some precipitation going here's your flaming gorge up here 1.7 not a whole lot let's go to tropical tidbits and it will show you a whole different picture coming within by the end of the month you have some snow possibly coming this way and it could be quite a bit now this is your rain precipitation and you can see there's a bullseye pretty close to phoenix here and you're talking almost four inches and then over here at the colorado here this is really good too this is going to be around three to four inches as well so we'll have to be watching to see if this comes to pass california is fairly dry just in case anybody was wondering there is a little precipitation here along the sierra mountain range here and you can see that nevada is going to be fairly wet the great basin is right through here so this doesn't affect any of these rivers whatsoever so let's roll over to the new snow here is your snow and you can see 24 inches 21 inches 15 inches so you could receive quite a bit of snow here's your divide right around here or so and here's the lower 29 inches down here for the lower that's crazy and then you got a nice little swap here and like i said there's a bunch of moisture going to be happening right there six inches over here in utah so we'll be watching this to see if it comes to pass lake oroville's up here just in case for any of my followers that want to follow you're going to get seven or eight inches so we'll see if that comes to pass as well and let's roll over to the water levels at flaming gorge and see what's going on up at the flaming gorge we'll go down from there here is the flaming gorge water level and you can see the water level at the flaming gorge is 6017.65 feet msl thursday january 13 2022 at 12 a.m the level is 22.35 feet below full pool of 6040 feet and changes since yesterday zero let's roll down to lake powell and see what's going on there lake powell water levels 3534.87 feet msl thursday january 13 2022 at 12 a.m the level is 165.13 feet below full pool of 3700 and changes since yesterday this thing just continues to drop 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 i mean this thing is just it's like they're letting it out on purpose so 3500 come up just a little bit right here this is your only little bump it did come up here in 2020 but it didn't come up much this thing's just been steadily decreasing forever and it continues so let's roll down to lake mead and see what's going on there your lake mead water level you can see that the lake has come up since the beginning of january 1st to now the lake has climbed almost a foot in the first 17 days so there you have that and then here's your 2020 comparison so there you have that 2021 and you can see that this thing pretty well on the decrease for the most part down to lake havasu we'll see what's going on down at lake havasu lake havasu water level is 447.32 feet msl saturday january 15 2022 12 30 p.m the level is 2.32 feet above full pool of 445 feet and the lake has increased 0 0.07 okay now let's roll over to the snowpack in the upper colorado basin here and this affects lake powell so right now we are at 126 
0.43% of January 15th's average. So the average on this date, it's above by 26% above and it is below the April 6th average of 61.63. So the way that is figured is if, if today was 126.43, today's level, if this was a snowpack for April 6th, it would only be 61.63%. So this would be below April's date. We would be pleased with 126.43% on April 6th, but we still got a long way to go. And I just showed you what precipitation outlook looks like through the end of January. So that's a good possibility that you could get a good bump somewhere along the way here. Now, we need it to, to be like 20, 2019 had extreme amount of precipitation and lake actually come up higher than it did in 2017. So we'll see what it ends up at. It's a long way to go, but here's your snowpack. I just wanted to talk about it. And let's roll over to windy.com. You can see what the snowpack is in the Colorado Basin. Here's your snow depth. You can see that you got a decent amount of snow. There's 59 inches there at Aspen, 47 Vale, 36. Up here at Jackson is pretty close to the upper Colorado Basin, 43. Over here, 65. So you have a lot. In Grand Junction, they have 8.5. Down here, they have 41 inches. You can see the divides right along here. So you got quite a bit going on here. Montrose. Over here, we have 10 inches. Down here, 22. Cedar City over here, which falls in the basin, 28%. Down here, 16.6. And just over to the west of Vegas, 12.3. So it's not a bad snowpack for the start. Being a positive 126 is good. I'd be much happier if it was 150 to 200 this time, but we'll take what we can get and hope for the best. And that is what is going on. Lake Powell continue to drain over and over and over. Just not a good situation. It's hard to report on this stuff whenever you sound like a broken record day in and day out. So please bear with me, y'all, and I hope everybody enjoys my content. If not, no worries. And we will see you on the next one, probably tomorrow, I'll do a Lake Oroville update tomorrow. So you guys have a blessed day and see you tomorrow. God bless.